I've had the camera with me all day long, so there's little excuse. It started to, uh, oh, it's starting to sprinkle, isn't it? So I have, actually we've both been just kind of like relaxing and doing things at the same time today. This whole garbage pile of crap that's been out here, I've been dealing with because it, it was worse than this. So it's starting to look as bad as the, the neighbor's house over there. So <laughs> shh, I didn't say anything. So anyway, uh, we don't need this anymore. This is another thing that's going away. Uh, our carpet I got through dealing with. I know you guys haven't seen any of the before, so you have nothing to compare it to, but take my word for it, it looked like garbage. So all the scrap metal is processed, ready to go out on the next scrap. Um, I, I call the guy, because I don't, I don't scrap just the irony stuff anymore. I have somebody come here and they just pick it up, so that's awesome. So anyway, that stuff's ready to go. This right here was the partition uh, for the back of the nugget for uh, when we went camping with Buffy and Coda. Down to one dog, we don't need it anymore. So I'm going to destroy this and we're going to uh, get some firewood out of it. And uh, oh, there we go. There we go, one screw out. I'm gonna take this down. I don't know if I wanna save the plywood or not. It's pretty, uh, pretty weathered. Maybe I will, because plywood's like pretty expensive. Maybe we'll have a use for it. I'll put it someplace inconspicuous to where it doesn't take up any room. It's not often that she lays that still. Like I just said, it's not that often that she just lays still when uh, she's getting uh, her hair cut. It started to rain, so they moved inside. Um, I have some stuff to get from the Nugget from... Oh, hey, buddy. I have some stuff to get from the Nugget um, and put away. All the tools are still there. So, especially now that I've announced it and put it on social media, I want to make sure that I get them all in the back of the truck so that nobody comes and liberates them. So... Oh, hey, got two of them, maybe. Hey. I love nature. Oh, there's a bunny. Got a lot of bunnies in the neighborhood this year. It's behind the tree, it's next to the back tire on the neighbor's truck. Crows and bunnies. We're going to get to the backyard. I thought they were going to land and grab their peanuts. I guess they're waiting for me to leave. So we're going to go to the backyard, and even though it's sprinkling out a little bit, uh, the yard waste can. Oh, I don't think I followed up with that. The yard waste can completely emptied, except for a little bit of, uh, oh, wait, never mind. I filled it back up again. <laughs> Let me get to that in a second. So only like a little bit of grass was left in the bottom of it. I'm very impressed that most of it uh, came out, and the truck apparently didn't have a hard time lifting it so that's good too we're gonna to take the shears and there's a bunch of uh, branches from the tree that we cut in the back there that are not um, uh, dealt with yet so we're gonna go over here and um, I said I would get back to that in a second so uh, I had this trash can here this one here was also full so I've emptied this into the yard waste uh, after it was dumped that's why it's almost full again so we're going to get back here and i don't know maybe i need a hat i mean i don't want to get drenched drenched but it is sprinkling this is weird it's june and it's sprinkling outside so strange all right no time like the present let's uh let's get this done just about this whole time i've had an audience these chickens we're so curious. Either that or they like being around me. <laughs> so anyway, all right, we're done. Everything has been picked up. The tree project and trimming it is done. And uh, you know, uh, for the most part, it's pretty good. It's definitely going to, uh, oh, actually I should have gotten that one up there too. Oh well, I'll get it next year maybe, or a year after that. Um, all right. Time to get this one here dumped and clean up. Wow, look at you! Don't you look happy? 
Look at you. Hi. Wow. You're like a new dog. Look at that. Did you say thank you? Huh? Did she say thank you? Did she say thank you? Uh, she absolutely did not. Oh, well. Wow, that's a whole Buffy right there. Buffy in a box. A Buffy in a box. A Buffy in a box. Buffy! <laughs> look how much younger you look. Wow. You do a much better job than I do. I just did take to do it. You're kind of like, ew, hair, <laughs> done. Oh, yeah. I still have lines in it, though. That's okay. She has to have a bath now, but That's I'm going to change out of this hair of clothes first. <laughs> I don't like the way you're walking right now. Ew, gross. You're doing the, the waddle walk. Currently, what time is it? Uh, time for me to turn my lights on and uh, windshield wipers, too, apparently. It's like 8.55 right now, something like that. And so, uh, being so busy taking care of things today, we didn't plan on any food. So, we have ordered some Panda Express. We're splurging tonight, both uh, caloric and monetarily. And we're just going to go out and get some food and bring it back to the house. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm so hungry. I'm almost like Buffy. I could eat my foot. Ew. Ah, no. Gross. Never mind. I completely take that back. I don't think I would want to eat my own feet or anybody's feet for that matter. That's just disgusting. Although, do you guys remember Hi, H-A-I, my friend from work that uh, lived with me for a little while? Um, he, uh, being, um, I can't remember what he was, Vietnamese, I think, um, they eat chicken feet. So, he would eat feet. He actually ate a chicken foot. He asked me if I wanted one night. I was like, no, thank you. I didn't even want to try it. <laughs> it simply didn't look appetizing and I didn't even have chickens yet. And now that I have chickens, I still wouldn't. <laughs> I'm only pausing to film this because I have never ever seen this before. Look at this. There are four tanks, two tanks on both sides. That is a huge freaking semi. Wow. That has been the biggest semi truck I've ever seen in my life. I mean, talk about a sleeper on it. It's like an apartment almost. It's like a house. It's like a little shed house on that. That's huge. Wow. She just burped. <laughs> I, no, I don't think she burped. I thought, uh, I think her paw went down. No. Like that. No, she went. Oh, didn't she? no, I don't know. I didn't see that. I was concentrating on the camera, no. waiting for it to boot up. Why is it, Buffy, why do you look like you did something that you weren't supposed to? She's such a traitor. So Angie does all that work, trims her nails, trims her. We sit down and watch a show on, on, on the TV and she's like snuggled up to me. She's always snuggled up to you. You're her, her man. Wow. I'm just the auxiliary person around here. <laughs> the auxiliary person? Yeah. We can actually make Buffy jealous. If Angie and I hug and we kiss, Buffy will whine. She comes from out of nowhere and tries to get between us. Yeah. You're her man. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. <laughs> All right. Going to edit. Is that it for the night for vlogging? Well, I, I, there's hardly any vlog today. I don't think. I can't remember what I filmed and what I haven't. Um, I remember. Uh huh? And remember what? I can't remember what you, what oh, you filmed. Oh, no. Um, I do know that a little while ago there's only four comments, so we might as well just like, unless like super comments have happened since then. It is possible, right, Buffy? Yeah? Buffy. Horse! No, she does. She likes it when you do that. That's not a horse. No. Horse! I don't see a horse. Yeah. It'll be so funny, especially watching like um, Outlander or something like that. There'll be a horse on TV and she'll be like up and watching the TV. So strange. <clears throat> so strange you are. Yeah, six comments today. Van Nile NSX first. Woohoo! 
usually first. No. Halloween fur. Thumb up. Jack o' lantern. Pause. <laughs> Real fan Jason. Oh, yeah. Real fan Jason. Oh, my goodness. Okay, hold on. So, arrived home a couple hours ago, got dinner going, unpacked, and then sat down and got caught up with the vlogs. Your mom's house looks fantastic, very clean. Also, wow, back at the hill and sweet. Do Phoenix. Oh, sweet do Phoenix. Okay. Uh, now, having actually seen Rainier in person, it's pretty freaking big. Beautiful to see. In case you guys didn't know, Railfan Jason took a trip uh, with his family uh, to Seattle to board a cruise ship to go to Alaska. Also, speaking of moms, moms, we were wrong about mine. It wasn't dehydration. She got her night and daytime pills reversed. Oh, no. So, I, I'm not sure how much she wants me to divulge. Um, but, I mean, obviously, he said it here. So, uh, she took her sleeping meds this morning instead of her blood pressure meds. At first, we all thought she was having a freaking stroke. This trip was literally delayed till now because we lost dad last year. Then this happens the last day of this trip. Scared the S out of us. Oh Man, well, it sounds like she's going to be okay. And actually, uh, mom and a friend were left behind at the hospital while everybody wow. else continued to go home, from what I understand. And then there was even complications at the beginning of the trip with uh, some people getting, like, seasick oh, no. and stuff. That would have been me. <laughs> so, oh, man. You know, and uh, until the serious stuff happened, why am I, okay, until the serious stuff happened, I was going to say, you know, trips, weddings, major things in your life, sometimes it's not the cool, awesome stuff that happened during the trip, it's the stuff that wasn't planned, and that you didn't like, that you will remember years later, maybe not fondly in some cases, but... I like to loosely plan a trip, but not stick to anything solidly, because... Otherwise, you leave yourself the potential to be really disappointed in what's happening. But if it's just loosely put together, it's easier to be like, oh, well, I guess we're doing this now. Yeah. And the other thing that sucks about that is when you do make plans and, like, let's say you go to Vegas and you buy a bunch of tickets for a bunch of shows and then something happens and then you lose the money if you don't go to the thing. Well, the only thing with Vegas, though, is if you don't pre-buy those tickets, you don't get to see those shows. Oh, no, yeah. that, <laughs> that's true, too. So, anyway, uh, I, I'm, I'm glad that hopefully everything is working out okay now. Uh, Jesse Adventures, July is coming up fast. Yes. Um, nine, ten, ten days until... So what do you have planned for it? Uh, we are going to be going to the park for a walk in the morning, and then we're going to be going bowling in the afternoon, and then we are going to have the dinner in the evening. Has, uh, does everybody know this? No, because I haven't made an official announcement yet. Huh. So there you go. And 360Chris88, thanks for the video, Troy. You're very welcome. All right. That's it. Okay. Happy haircut. See ya. Happy haunting. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.